you. What up? All right. Um, so, uh, we got season three, episode three of the Ricky Gervais show. Hmm. Okay. Season three, episode three. Yes. Yeah, man. What we got? This is Armed Forces. Armed Forces. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Hmm. Wonder what type of armed forces we're talking about. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Probably. The, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go. You ready? Yes. Yes, I am. forces right now <laughs> for the past few years Ricky Gervais Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington have been meeting regularly for a series of pointless conversations this is one of them testing is that all right hello and welcome to the Ricky Gervais show with me Ricky Gervais Stephen Merchant hello and the little round-headed buffoon that is Carl Pilkington Huh? <laughs> it's come to our attention that the Allied forces um, all around the world in active service fighting for their country even though they're in danger and they're missing their loved ones they all have one thing in common the love of one man the respect of one fellow soldier. He's a civilian, but he's one of them. He is, to some, a, 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 just a, a little more headed <laughs> fool. Carl Pilkington. Carl, what do you think? What do you think of this? It's an honour, isn't it, to do this? Yeah, it's all right, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. OK, there's people out there, Carl. They're fighting in Afghanistan, Iraq, all over the globe. They're in a dark building. They're not breaking radio silence. Morale, yeah. often low. There's one man they can turn to to cheer him up. Come on, they want some words and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> some words of wisdom. Something to keep them going. A message to the troops. Come on. Go, Carl. What is it? They're Winston Churchill. I don't know what to say to him, really. Do you know any soldiers? Well, yeah, my brother was one, wasn't he? Yeah, uh -huh. mm, but he got kicked out. Why did your brother get kicked out of the army? Um. Well, there's a few things. I, I think you get a few chances. I think the final straw was nipping out with some fags in a tank. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> just think of that. Uh, Amazing. And it's... Just see that, just a little corner shot, but just like uh, things shaking, uh. jumping off the shelf. <laughs> what is this? What is going on? <laughs> Twenty waffles, <your> please. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is there a stole the tank? <laughs> yeah, there's loads of things. It was that. Uh, what else do you do? Uh, I think the sergeant wasn't happy that my mum wrote, wrote the sergeant a letter um, trying to get my brother out of going to Northern Ireland. Uh, what did she say? I love this. What did she say? Wow. She wrote a letter. Like oh. trying to get him out of PE. Yeah, I know, yeah. It was all Let's like a chesty cough. Let's not forget, your, your mum is a person who put Tipex on a spider so your dad couldn't kill it, so she knew it was oh, yeah, a so spider. It In case your dad killed a real spider, then thought about it, replace it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't just that. That was that, that. It was Tipex, so that when my dad was backing up or my mum was backing up, oh. it stood out. It wasn't like it wasn't like branding a sheep. Right. It was there, so it stood out because they used to have like um, <laughs> what's the name? Laminate flooring. Right, and dad changed it to dark the carpet, and <laughs> all of a sudden you couldn't see it anymore. I've never heard anything like this. I don't remember this story. You, uh, no, she no. had a pet spider? What do you mean? It was she, just yeah, a spider. spider. Yeah, he kept a, she kept a spider. Oh. They had a spider, but then it became a pet because it was there all the time, as opposed to just getting rid of it straight away. Like, <laughs> you know, because you didn't clear away it's straight away, suddenly it's a pet. It's, it's, yeah, it's a house spider, because they live in houses. You make them welcome to get rid of other little bugs and termites and stuff. My brother's left home, I've left home, my sister's gone. It's something for my mum, isn't it? She's got a budgie. There's only so much you can do with that. It's not as free, is it, as a spider? Right. Well, she just looks after that one. They've oh, lived for about eight years. years. I'm bored. Get yourself a spider. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's a different thing altogether. She just wrote to the sergeant and said, um, just sort of, you know, look, I didn't want him to join the army. It was his dad. Uh, he didn't get a job. 
his dad told him, if you don't get a job, you're going to join the army. Mm. He ended up joining. He's joined at a bad time. He hasn't had enough practice at this yet. <laughs> and he just let Surely him. that's for them. Enough practice. Surely that's for them to decide. Yeah, she's on there going. He can't shoot for Tom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was all right about it. The only thing that really annoyed him is when Mum started off the letter by saying, "Hello, Chuck." <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> And, uh, and he called back though, he did call her and said, look, you know, I don't appreciate it being called Chuck and stuff, but I've got you know, you know, a lot of mothers are in the same boat. Sorry, he actually mentioned don't call me Chuck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he brought it up. Because it's all about respect, uh, isn't it? And Well, she's a civilian. Yeah, but I suppose it's, it's respect still. He's putting his life on the line. Someone's saying, you know, all right, Chuck. You know. So, uh, so he phoned back and he said, presumably... Well, I mean, if I was him, I would have, not only would I have sent him to uh, Northern Ireland instantly, yeah. I'd have put him in the most dangerous spot. Damn. Yeah, I mean, that's punishment. To get your mum to write a letter. No, 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 no. <laughs> he didn't ask me mum to do it. She did it off her own back. He was probably horrified, wasn't he? Oh, oh wow. that bit, imagine that. It's <laughs> yeah, embarrassing. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Let me read it to you. Oh, oh, man. Just read it out. <laughs> Come here, you horrible little man. Imagine him reading out in front of the troops. I remember sort of looking up to him, thinking, oh, that's, he's, he's in the army, I want to do that. And he used to come on quite a lot, but he used to do me dad's head in because he'd turn up with like a wagon with like loads of mates in it. Just turn up on sort of, you know, we didn't have any notice. Just turn up and he'd bring them all in. Come on, we'll be drinking my dad's whiskey, it'd kick off, and dad's saying, get out. Find the spider. And, uh, Don't tread on the spider. Yeah, he used to just turn up like half an F troop, and they'd just take over the house. Yeah, and my dad used to be on night, so he'd hear all this going on, come down, and go, what's going on, get out. And he's going, oh, come on, get out. So it'd just kick off a bit, I'd see him for a few minutes, and then he'd drive off again on the truck. Not it, a model soldier, then? Uh, well, what's, what's a model soldier? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I always thought it was good. When I was younger and, you know, he joined, I, I was like, oh, I'm going to do that when I get older. And my dad always said, you won't be able to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I said, no, I can't. I can't. Look how good. Because they used to make my bed really neat. Right. So it's mainly housework. Uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> you probably <laughs> off as a mum. No, 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 I, I, it was like, because it has to be immaculate, doesn't it? They look for no creases and that, and I yeah. was a bit paranoid with my bed. Just with the with the duvet and that. I used to... Duvets? They have duvets? Well, I don't know, but just making the bed pride in appearance of the, yeah. of the bedroom. Yeah, it's all about discipline. Once, all about, once yeah. I made it, no one could sit on it. I used to get all all stressed out and feel sick if someone came in and sat in my bed after I'd made it. They don't be coming in. And it was annoying because that's where the CD was. Everyone used to come in, so I would go on the CD and sit on my bed. They'd be going, don't sit on my bed. Made it. Right. Why so, do you used to feel sick? It was a bit of a thing. I just OCD. didn't like it. A I, bit of, I, it's yeah. like I've met a person yeah, trouble making it. Why don't you just come in and sit on it? I wouldn't have made it. Yeah, but, what, but hold on, though. Uh, you, you do that in the army, Sergeant Major comes in and goes, Help me then. And he just, he does it for a laugh. He turns over your bed, he pulls out your locker, <laughs> he gobs on your shoes, right? <laughs> he goes, start again, you can. <laughs> what are you going to do? Going to be sick? No, you're going to go, you yes, Sergeant Major, I'm going to start again. No, I say, why, why did you do that? I'm missing home as it is. I'm stressed out. I'm just trying to make me, me, me surround <laughs> as nice as possible. Teddy's on the floor. You keep coming in and messing with it. Can you not do that? Do <laughs> <laughs> you, little both can. <laughs> my dad's right then, because he said, he said that, he, I mean, my dad sort of said the bed making's all right. He said, uh, you know, good with laces. <laughs> wow, did you have to tie your laces? Well, I've just, uh, just never been that good. I can tie them, but I've never <laughs> tied for a long time. I have never seen him tie his laces. I've realised that. He always comes in. What does Suzanne do for Is you? Is he a little mank, one of those little um, mank chainers where they're all tucked in? Where you oh, shit. I tend to just put a good shit. knot on them and then just leave them and kick them off. And then they're tied permanent. So you've got uh. slip-on laced-up shoes, basically. Yeah. I don't like yeah. laces. I don't understand why laces are good anyway when you're in the army, especially with boots. You have boots with like about 60 holes in them. If you're in the bush, if you're in bed, you get out of the bed, you make the bed, the sergeant comes in, rips it apart again, and he's going, there's a war, and you're going, stop messing with the bed. And they're in there trying to put my boots on. You've got 60 laces. I don't understand why Velcro hasn't been used. Velcro is the ideal. Velcro. For a war situation. You're in bed. Woo! Siren goes off. You jump in. Why do you want boots? With loads of laces. Well, that's the thought for the. Uh, there's any top. Ah, uh, that's there. smart. Velcro instead of laces. How do you cope, Carl, 
in a war situation. Ignore the, 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 the mechanics of being a soldier. I'm talking about the fear. I mean, these men and women are brave beyond compare. Mm. Constantly under duress. I was told we had good pain threshold. By whom? <coughs> um, a woman at that face rub place I went to. Right. She, because uh, they ask you when you go in. She said, what's your pain threshold like? I said, I don't know. I'm going to avoid it. She was going, yeah, but, you know, would you say you're very, very good, medium, or bad? I can't imagine you getting hurt, much because, because the, the signals to the brain, you've got, you know, it just is dulled, mm. isn't it, with you? So you don't really... Yeah, but then Suzanne always moans at me when I'm going, oh, God, my wisdom teeth is aching. She's going, oh, shut up. She's saying, you haven't got any wisdom teeth, you dirty cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I had it, and I didn't make a fuss, but it's one of the things that you can't get through to people pain, isn't it? Yeah. And they don't know what your pain threshold is. So, like I say, I've got brilliant pain threshold. I'm saying my tooth's hurting. She's saying, oh, shut up. But she doesn't know. I wish you'd. I think I've talked about it before about giving someone the pain that you've got. So you go there. Have a feel of that. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you it. Yeah, but you've made it up that you've got a high pain threshold. This isn't. This, no. this is not a sign no, of The woman proud. told me. The woman told me. Well, she know. know. Because I haven't got to it yet. When I had the face rub, yeah. she was sticking electric into my head. <laughs> and she what? Like, what? <laughs> what place is this? This was the spot. No, it was. It's what Jesus it is Christ. Mm. Well, she, she, <coughs> so she just plugged something oh, into the mains. Yeah. She plugged something in and rolled Did it. Did she have an assistant called Igor? <laughs> <laughs> she plugged this thing in, rolled it. Ah, Frank is dying. I said, is that hurting? <laughs> I was going, no. She went, all oh, right. And she said, and then by the end of it, she said, look at that. I had that on full. I said, what is it? She said, it's an electric current. That does something. I was going, really? That does something. She's a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. she, said, she said, no, when you fill out that form, just put you really good at pain threshold. Put you really good at pain. Are you going to come again? <laughs> well, yeah, 50 quid. So do it, but let's try any testicles <laughs> next time. <laughs> so, you know. So uh, how was this, what was shit. this supposed to be achieving? It was uh, his face why, You've gone in for a facial and she's tasting out what your pain's Well, that's what I said. I hang on me. What do you mean? It's meant to be relaxing this. Yeah. You normally have whale noises happening. Yeah. And now it's going to be me screaming. She said, no, no, it's just, you know, we have to ask. We have to make oh, sure because there is a bit of pain. You know, heat. is heat yeah, and there is hot yeah. cloths. Um, yeah, well, better than thumb screws. Let's get the thumb screws out now. And plus all that <laughs> kidney stone pain that yeah, I had. You just were in agony when you had the kidney stones. You don't, I don't remember you having this triumphant pain for sure. You gave up instantly. And yeah. And yeah, because you have to to get seen. If I go in there and I'm going, I'm in agony, and they're going, you don't look like you're in agony. I went, I'll be at the back of the queue. So you have to go in and go, oh, yeah. So it's true. In. So pain threshold yeah. is good for yourself, but it's not good for other people. So you were bullshitting? <laughs> you didn't feel pain at all? I was in agony, but I can hold it off. I can sit there and be quiet and have a sweat on. <sighs> but if you do that in hospital waiting room, it'll be the little dear who's coming with a pan on his head. He's screaming and saying his head's throbbing. That's what I'm saying. So to get seen, you have to put it on. It's like a baby crying. There's nothing wrong with it. What's he crying for? He's probably hungry. Well, I'm hungry. I'm not crying. But that's what they use, isn't it, right. to get attention. So you're, so you're braver than a baby, is what you're saying. You're braver than a baby. Mm. That's all we've established here. In some cases, in, not in when others. Not in others. Sometimes <laughs> babies are braver. When a baby's braver? You can chuck them in a the pocket when they don't panic. <laughs> what? Uh, sorry, will you leave my baby alone? No, I'm doing an experiment. Mr. Pilton, will you stop throwing children in the pool? No, babies. You're, ba you're barred from this swimming pool from now on. I mean babies. It's the same way you can chuck one out of a window and it can land and it won't break its back. No, no, that's not true. Do not do that. Do not do that. You are in the You cannot throw this. a baby out of a window. Do you hear that? You're thinking of a cat and don't throw a cat out of a window. Don't throw any little thing. Oh. What are you talking no, about? It's just there's a certain height. It's all about us. <laughs> you know, ah, about it. It's like how once someone who's fell out of a plane, they passed out, and because they passed uh, out, they no. woke up, they were like, bloody hell, what happened then? Someone <laughs> fell out of a plane. <laughs> <laughs> That's bollocks. It's not, honestly. How far uh, was the plane? Oh, hi, oh. It's a plane, isn't it? <laughs> well, what's the lowest height that a plane well, could be at? Even if it was at. <laughs> 30 feet, that's a height, isn't it? It's a fall. Yeah, exactly. But if was, it was, the plane, was the plane just on the runway? No, it was iron up, iron up. It was iron up and off. <laughs> <laughs> iron up! For the holiday. 
I end up. Would you say you've ever been brave? Because I was thinking before I did this, I, uh, I can't think of a time when yeah. I've ever been brave. I don't think I've been cowardly. I've just uh, never been in the situation where I needed to be brave, particularly. Uh, I've always managed to avoid <laughs> yeah, fights, conflicts. Yeah. See, I uh, when I was in Salford, I had to nip to Greg's to get a pasty. Mm. I heard some bells going off. I came out. Just thought, oh, I don't know what that is. Went over to the car, sort of thinking, oh, I can't wait to have this pasty when I get home. Cup mm. of tea, nice cup of tea, maybe a bit of bread. I love the fact that that his head was just filled with food. <laughs> he was buying food and thinking food. When he's eating, I'm thinking, I'm eating food, food. Just, just one big globular mess <laughs> of food cells in his head yeah. for the for the duration of the food experience. I can remember that food thought going on now, and it was probably like 15 years ago. <laughs> but I remember how happy I was. I'm out of the Greggs, I've got what I want, I'm on my way home, this pie's hot, it's going to be hot when I get home, it's going to be a nice cup of tea. Bread. These are the things you save, <laughs> and yet you forget really important facts. Yeah, he doesn't know why wars are happening, yeah. but he does remember this. Yeah, but yeah. Listen, this is why I remember it. Like I said, you forgot the bit that I said. A bell going off. Mm. You know what's going on there. I'm walking over the road, put the key in the car, turn round, bloke comes running out of the post office, obviously the bell's gone off, he's got a big shotgun, balaclava on, and he stops and looks at me, he's there with a big gun in his hand, and he's looking at me. And I just, I wasn't scared, I just was thinking, does he want your pie? <laughs> <laughs> I remember thinking, if he said, if he said, I want that, I'd think <laughs> With a gun. I told Suzanne, she said no, he's probably thinking about nicking your car. He's got well, he didn't have a car ready, he came to the balaclava, he had the balaclava, the gun, uh, fuck me, I forgot the car. In the end, he sort of off down the car. I love the fact that you, he looked over at you for a split second and you thought he might be interested in your car. <laughs> were you sure this happened and you weren't reading a comic book? No, it happened. And so he looked you in the face. He yeah, saw he his balaclava, he made eye contact, I looked at him, everything sort of stopped for a minute. <laughs> and then yeah. you sort of yeah. <laughs> and uh, you, what, what, did you do, what did you say to the police when you uh, obviously went? I didn't, I just went. <laughs> I just went. <laughs> like I said, it was warm. It's not going to stay warm forever, is it? But when, they, when, when it was on Crime Watch, uh, it was, Carl. Know, it was weird. I said to Suzanne, oh, let's watch like Grada reports tonight, see if I'm on the telly or anything. Nothing. Didn't even get reported. Why would you be on the telly if you just ran just away? Just say CCTV or something like that. If it was involved in when this happened today in Salford, outside Greg's. Are you this man with the pie? I want to make sure I was well out of this one. Because Suzanne sort of said, oh, she uh, shouldn't get involved. Because then I'm at, threat, I'm at risk, aren't I? Nobody well, was killed. Are. We're back to bravery again, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, it is bravery. Go on, then. Next door but one. There's a fella there. He, uh, he likes a drink. He came home late one night, banging on the door. Uh, Obviously forgot his key. He was trying to kick the door in. I looked out the window, and it was that thing, someone's breaking in, right? I see it's in. I saw all the curtains twitching, he just went back to bed. Now I kept an eye on him, he kicked so hard, he fell back, dropped his curry, landed in the road. <laughs> dropped his curry! Right. Oh God, why didn't he get a pie from Greg's? Because that lands and it's still fine. So, anyway, he passes out. Right. Curry all over the shop. Yeah. Head in the road. Cars come down that road. Yeah. Sometimes pretty fast. Yeah, it's night time. He can get his head squashed. Yeah. Like I said, uh, curtains are still a switching. No one's a helping. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go out there and I go, you all right? You all right? And he's, he's totally off his head. He's obviously had a, you know, a right skin full. Uh, he's going, oh, where am I, where am I? I'm going, you're outside your house, but you've got to get off the road because you're going to get squashed. So he's like, oh, and he could hardly move, so I sort of picked him up, sat him on the pavement, sort of picked up the curry and stuff. Suzanne came out, what's going on? I said, oh, look at him, he's in the right state. Anyway, he's sort of coming round a little bit. Um, in the end, I said, where's your keys? Got him in his house. <laughs> Job done. But that's not bravery. That's not bravery. There's there's no, to you. No. It's just put yourself out of it for two minutes. Uh, it is bravery because he's, he's out of his head. He could have thought I was attacking him. He could have swung at me. <laughs> now, the good he's thing lying is... in the road, unconscious, covered in curry. Right, right, this, right. this is not a threat. It is a threat. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm it's out not. on the street late at night. Someone could have come around the corner and thought I was mugging him. And, and then they, they attacked do? me. <laughs> Why they attack you? They take you think, what, 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 what are you doing? People don't ask questions because you're not allowed to. Like with a sergeant, they chip in straight away. I know what's going on here. No, you don't. You don't know the full story. He's pissed off and his curry all over it. <laughs> <laughs> it, isn't, it isn't blood. It's masala. We <laughs> hear about this all the time, misunderstandings. Now I had to. The day after, he remembers, he comes round and he gave me some minced meat that he had left over. <laughs> I love this! Where do you live? This is amazing! Oh my god! So the thing oh is, it god. goes to show that I put myself out, he appreciated it, he said, You're right, you know, the way Carl's come round here, oh, I'd, I'd had a bit of a week, you know, I'd had a lot to drink, good on you. Then no one else chipped in. Now it is bravery, kind of. Because no. no one else went out there and helped. You didn't even know about that. It's only because you just asked. It was ages ago. I don't shout <laughs> about it. I don't want an award. I don't, <laughs> hero. I don't want any of that. I just did There's no have a go did hero you, about it. Did you take the mince meat? Yeah, I did, yeah. It was good stuff. Yeah. That's uh, better than an award in a way, isn't it? I told you. <laughs> so, it depends. I think there's different ways. I've got mince meat. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I was saved by a, a bald man. <laughs> what about the phrases from the uh, war days? What about uh -huh. things like um, careless talk costs lives? What do you make of that? Careless talk. I suppose just busy chatting in a trench rather than. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't! It doesn't mean that! <laughs> Have another go. Uh, Careless talk costs lives. They used to have posters up all over London and other cities. Careless talk costs lives. There was another one, there's another saying that means the saying that might give you a clue. The walls have ears. <laughs> yeah, but that just means um, don't be slagging someone off because <laughs> someone will hear it, pass it on, and then they'll end up fighting their own instead of who they should be fighting. Well, no, you're um, almost there, but think yeah. about what you mean. It's not about gossip, it's not about... But it, in a way it is, but it's, it's very specific more. gossip, and that's more important, tittle-tattle. Careless whispers. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> that's George, George Michael. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first one again? Careless yeah. talk costs <laughs> lives. I don't know, I imagine it being like a... Don't go shooting your mouth off about things you know <laughs> about the war effort, because there might be a German spy in the pub, disguised as a barmaid. Oh, you're lovely, Tracy's going, yeah, I'm Carl. What do you know about <laughs> the war? That's, that's true, know? that does happen. I remember our brother being in the army, he, he had the same thing. He what? was told, he was told not to, because he liked the women and that. Yeah. He was told, listen. One of them might be a German spy? Yeah. He said, don't, don't be going out with German women, because they're quite muscly. <laughs> and a gang of them, no, and they'll do you in. <laughs> Sorry, your brother was told, don't go out with a gang of German women because they're quite muscly and they might do you in. <laughs> yeah, because it's all part of the thing. They sort of go out, like you say, and they <laughs> women out on the night because he was, he was in Germany for a bit. Uh, the post uh, and apparently they tied the <laughs> British soldiers and that. And like I say, he, he liked his women. He'd just go along with it thinking this is good. Um, you know, Acton baby or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Acton baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Acton baby. Yeah. And then, you know, got him in their block and good night, Vienna. Good night, Vienna. Why would they, why are these random German women just killing it's all the British blokes? What, what's the reason it for this? It was a proper thing. I remember him telling me, telling oh, me, Mum, saying, oh, I'll go there and write down them. And I met some women, German, couldn't go with them though, because we were told that. There might be, uh, you know, it might be trouble. <laughs> really, that's yeah. The, yeah. Honestly, that's, that's Sorry, a fact. British soldiers <laughs> were getting beaten up by German women. <laughs> this is not true. <laughs> Can't be. Why? If you're caught off guard, you're just thinking, oh, you know, out with the ladies, and then they suddenly turn on you. It's a shock. It's a surprise. Why are you beating him up? You're presumably talking about the Because he's a soldier. <laughs> yeah, but we they, they, they were allies <laughs> then. Well, when your brother was stationed in Germany, it wasn't it wasn't occupied Germany. We hadn't invaded. It wasn't it wasn't the German resistance. <laughs> they were stationed there. <laughs> oh shit! That's it in the court. Ancient Greece. Every year, five hundred. <laughs> uh, 
Damn, that shit ended quick. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Carl's brother. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to meet Carl's brother. He looks just like Carl <laughs> with hair. He said the last time he got kicked out for smoking this smoking fags in a in a tank. He stole the tank. <laughs> he stole the tank. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah, then Carl said he's gonna be just like him. Yeah, Carl doesn't. Carl doesn't. Carl doesn't strike me for like a war type of person. You know no, I mean? Carl's. I can see Carl at war or fighting <laughs> anything. Yeah. Seems too peaceful. <laughs> Carl got a kind heart. Exactly. Even though he just threw a baby in a pool. <laughs> <laughs> He said he could throw a baby in a pool. It doesn't even phase him. <laughs> you know, he said he could throw a baby out a window. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Like a cat. <laughs> oh, I could throw a baby out a window. <laughs> Think of a cat. <laughs> this is ridiculous. 